It is my great pleasure today to talk to you about comparing fractions. Remember that a fraction has a number on top called the numerator and a number on bottom called the denominator. The denominator tells us the number of equal parts our whole is divided into and the numerator is the number of those parts we're identifying. Here I have two delicious looking cookies. If I were to offer you one half of the one on the left or one half of the one on the right, which would you rather have? I personally love cookies, so I'm going to take one half of the one on the left because it looks like it might be a bigger piece, and it is. When we talk about comparing fractions, we need the original items we're comparing to be the same size. So when you have two grids or two cookies, two whatever, if they're not the same size, we can't compare fractions of them. However, when our grids are the same size, then we can compare, and in this case, one half equals one half. Let's look at an example. Here I have three fraction circles. They're each separated into four equal parts and different amounts are shaded and the fractions tell us how much of each circle is shaded. The three-fourths looks like it has the most shaded. It does and it is the largest fraction. Three-fourths is greater than two-fourths is greater than one-fourths and a good fact to know if I ever offer you three-fourths or one-fourth of my cookie, you might want to know which is the bigger amount. Let's look at another example. Here we have fraction grids. They're all the same size, they're all separated into eighths, and different amounts are shaded, and the fractions tell us the shaded amounts. The one on the left is kind of messy. It's a little hard to compare to the others. It's not like the fraction circles that were all tidy. So I'm going to tidy this one on the left just by moving the shaded pieces over. Still, it's the same amount shaded. I just tidied up. Let's tidy up three-eighths as well. Now you can see that four-eighths has the most shaded, and you know it is the largest fraction. Good to know if I ever offer you different amounts of my pan of brownies. Would you rather have four-eighths or two-eighths of the pan of brownies? Now let's look at fractions on a number line. Each of these number lines represents the space from zero to one and they're both separated into six equal sized parts. The one on top, the dot is four spaces over, represents the fraction four-six. On bottom, the dot is two spaces over, represents the fraction two-six. The dot that is farther to the right is the larger fraction. In this case, four-six is greater than two-six. So what have you learned about comparing fractions that have the same denominator but different numerators? When the denominators are the same, you want to check the numerators. The larger numerator is the larger fraction. 